Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video is gonna be all about line following. Gotta love it. Stay with me. Okay, so there's many ways to follow a line. Um, you can brick program your robot to follow a line. You can computer program it. And there's really no perfect program out there. I mean, people might claim to have the perfect program, but you know, there's, I guess like a, a, a restaurant that serves steak, there's always gonna be, you know, equal, just as good steaks other places. So why am I talking about food? Anyway, um, in this video, what I just wanna do is show you some simple ways to line follow and then show you how you can basically increase how fast a robot um, follows the line. And I'll show you some video clips of my students that had the fastest times and what they did for their program. So we're not here to kind of give away too many secrets here. We're just kind of here to you know show you how to line follow. And then like with all programs, uh, experiment to find out you know what might get you the fastest way. So basically I have a track here, this oval, and you gotta be very careful where you put your track. Um, if the lighting is not good, it can affect you know, how your program runs. So we always try to put this underneath uh, where we get the best light. I usually have it on the board in the back, but we have, uh, you know, we have some things set up there. So what we will show is just some simple ways to program it. And then I'll show you the way to increase it and to get it through faster. So let's check it out. Okay, if you just want a simple brick program to line follow, super easy. You only do four blocks. So we're just going to go here to a brick program. Oops, wrong one. Okay, so basically in a line following program on the brick here, what we want to do is just have your robot. We're going to go to this move tank block. We're going to have it be like a windshield wiper. We're going to have it go back and forth. It doesn't matter which one you do first. It can be a left or a right. So I'm going to do a right. And then we're going to go up here to the color sensor block. And we want the one that's for reflected light intensity here. And what we want to do is we want to, we don't want to make this too low. Like for five and 10, that would be way too low for our class. I mean, we might get 8% in certain spots of the room. That's why I always tell my students, you know what, let's make this go a little higher. So I tell them not to go lower than 25% uh, reflected light. So simply put, if your robot sees um, less than 25% reflected light, it will turn to the right. So now we gotta make sure we just do this the other way now. So if we did a right, now we're going to do a left and we're now going to go back to that same color sensor block, the reflected light one. But now we want to uh, set this now for the white part. So here's what we do. We're now going to go up. Now, this is another one where you got to be careful what you set it for. Um, I've done a previous video where I set it at 65. And I get my students coming back to me saying, ah, it didn't work. And sometimes 65 might be too high. So I just tell them, I'll just drop it then to 50 then. So it's one of those things where you have to experiment with your settings. If it's not staying on the line, then you adjust it. So we're going to keep it at 50. So now if it senses over 50% reflected light, it will make a left turn. So that's where you're going to see this windshield wiper effect. And then obviously to make this thing go all the way around, we're going to loop that at the very end. Okay, so let's just recap real quick. My robot will make a right turn if it sees under 25% reflected light. It will turn left if it sees equal to or over 50% reflected light, which in this case here is way, uh, it's going to be enough for that to work. Okay, so here we go. And this is why you're gonna get that windshield wiper effect because 
we set it for those left and those right turns. Now, Mr. Hino, is this the fastest we can make it? Obviously not. You guys know that the brick speed is only 70%. So if we want this to go faster, we're going to hop on a laptop. Let's go on to the laptop and check that out. Okay, everybody, I am on my laptop here. Open up the Mindstorm software. We're going to go ahead and hit this plus sign to open up a new program. Don't worry, this computer program is just as fast and simple as that brick program we just did. It's actually faster than this thing actually loading up. Just kidding, that was supposed to be funny. Okay, so here we go. Stay with me on this. Pause the video if I'm going too fast. We're going to go to your flow control tab. And we are going to bring up a loop. So if you saw on the brick, we're doing this just so that your program loops. Actually, you know what? Let me bring this down. There we go. It'll be easier for you to see. Okay, now we're going to bring up a switch and we're going to place it right inside. We're going to click right here and we're going to go color sensor. We want to go compare and we want to go reflected light. Now, this was the number we were talking about on the brick. Remember that 25? So you can mess with this how you want. Um, don't go too low. If you go too low, it just won't stay on the line. So you can be safe and possibly doing a 25. Uh, but again, feel free to mess with those numbers according to how you are doing. Oh, my bad. Go to the green section here. And you're going to pull up two motor blocks, move tanks, move tank blocks. Sorry. It's after school and my brain is fried. Okay. We're just going to go ahead and turn both of these on. Okay. So here is the beauty of the, the Lego software is we can bump this up to a hundred. So I'm going to bump this one up to 100, and this one's going to be up to 100. Notice I'm doing the opposite here. So this is going to take care of both um, switches here, or the, or the motors. Now, this is the number you want to mess with. We're going to leave this 100. If you want it to go faster, the, these 50s are the ones you're going to mess with. If you want a pretty fast one, you're going to make this 25. So notice again, 100, and then it goes to uh, the lower one here. It's on the opposite side, 25 and 25, and it is looped. So we're going to go ahead and download this and see how that same robot, how much faster it goes. Ready? I'll meet you back at the table. Okay, everybody, I'm back with the robot that has the computer program on it. And... You can go ahead and rewind the video and see how slow that brick program was and how much faster and smoother this uh, software, uh, Lego Mindstorm software program is. Check this out. The thing is just blazing. I mean, there is some back and forth, but just notice how smooth the turns are. We're not getting as much of the windshield wiper effect. My students were noticing that when, as soon as they hopped on the laptop and did that program, they were cutting their time in half. Their brick program was about 32 seconds around this oval. When they did the laptop program, it was somewhere in the area of 13, 14. So they, they cut their times more than a half. Okay, guys. I thought you might enjoy that. Obviously, you can make this go faster uh, if you wanted to mess with the numbers even more. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this. Wanted to definitely get my students involved, so now I'm gonna show you some of the 
line follows that they did. I actually have a, a, some, a team of students that put their speed bot on. A, they put a color sensor on it and ran that. I want you to definitely see that. So check these videos out. Okay, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully you can, if you're looking for a line following program, saw what you liked. You know, it's a, the brick is good, but you can see the, the laptop or the software program is so much faster. And it's fun. It's fun to just watch it. It's, it's kind of neat to see it go, you know, how, how, how does it do that? So it's just one of those cool things that you learn in robotics. So continue to uh, send me the your name and where you're from. If you guys did not see Tuesday's video, it's going to be at the end of this video. Um, if you missed it, I'm going to basically do this giant video from everybody's responses of where they are in the world. It's just going to be a cool collective video of just putting out people's names, uh, where they're from, just to see how wide and global robotics has gone. And it's just from my channel. I mean, you know there's millions of other robotic people you know that haven't even seen this channel that you know are around the world so it's going to be really cool all you do is just put your name and where you're from in the comments section i'll add you to the list uh also if you email me at hino lego robotics at gmail.com if you want to have a picture put in some teams have actually sent me videos that don't make the videos too long, but I'll, I'll put their clips into the video also. So it's just going to be a real neat global robotic community video, and I'd love for you to be a part of it. Okay? All right, guys. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Lego Robotics. I'm out.